Hello, Henry, dear boy. How are you today, Bowtie? I feel fantastic, Henry. I'm just about to be cleaned and pressed. Here we go! <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Are you okay, Bowtie? You look a little shaken. I'm okay, Henry. A little shaken, but not stirred. It must be so much fun being a bow tie. I bet you get invited to all the best parties. Oh, the life of a bow tie isn't as glamorous as everyone thinks, Henry. If I'm not getting covered in cake crumbs at a wedding, I'm getting covered in makeup at a high school prom. Sorry to hear that, bow tie. Just once, I'd love to go on a super exciting mission with a special agent, so instead of getting dirty, I can save the day. If only there was a suave and sophisticated special agent around to help. That gives me a great idea, Bowtie. I could become a suave and sophisticated special agent, and together we can go on a super exciting mission and save the day. That's a great idea, Henry. Agent Henry, if I could have your attention, please. Evil Pussycat has stolen the crown jewels and has locked them up in his super secret island base of doom. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to reach the island Break into the vault and retrieve the crown jewels. We, we accept. accept! How exciting! Wahoo! Huh. Hello, Agent Crush Test Dummy. Glad you could finally make it, Agent Henry. Now, you can't go on a super exciting mission without some super exciting gadgets. Oh, I love gadgets. Follow me. Here, we have a regular-looking pair of shoes, but if I click the heels, they turn into rocket skis! <laughs> Smashing! Next, this may look like a normal wristwatch, but if I press the button, a laser beam shoots out! Hot stuff! And finally, my favourite, your special agent car, complete with ejector seat. He always was a bit of a high flyer. And what does this gadget do, Agent Crash Test Dummy? Does it fire rockets? Does it freeze time? Does it turn into an ice cream sundae machine? That's just a TV remote, Agent Henry. I've been looking for that everywhere. Warning. 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 Agent Henry, that's the alarm to start the super exciting mission. Well, there's no time to waste then, Bowtie. Special Agent Henry to the rescue! Bowtie, the crown jewels are just up ahead. Be careful, Agent Henry. Anyone for popcorn? Popcorn? Special Agent Henry, what are you doing here? I've come to rescue you from the claws of Evil Pussycat. Evil Pussycat? He's not evil. He's the nicest cat we know. That's why he invited us over for movie night. Movie night? How splendid. I'd ask you to join us, Agent Henry, but we can't find the TV remote anywhere. Movie night is ruined. Don't worry, Pussycat. I think I have an idea. You did it, Henry! All in a day's work for Special Agent Henry! Yay! That's my mum calling me, Bowtie. i best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me go on a super exciting mission. You're welcome. Have a nice night. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met! A football! <laughs> Hello, 
football. Hello, Henry. How are you today, football? I feel fantastic, Henry. Did you know? I love bouncing. In fact, I love bouncing so much, I could bounce forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, football. Oh. <laughs> well, look at this, Henry. A little wiggly worm wiggling around. Brilliant. <sighs> look, it's a bird and it's flying. Cool. <laughs> Wait for me, football. Now there's no way you'd ever beat me because I'm the best. No, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. Wow, two football boots. Awesome. <sighs> Hi, everyone. What's up? We're having a football match, you see, and I'm going to beat him. That's what's up. Ha. Huh. How can you beat me when I'm going to beat you? Double ha. Huh? The Mighty Blues versus the Mighty Reds. Oh, it's going to be the greatest football match of all time. Mm, they both seem a little cross with each other. You're right, Henry. Oh, if only there was a referee around to make sure these two play fair. That gives me a great idea, football. I could become a referee and I could help referee the match. That's a great idea, Henry. Good luck, Henry. You'll need it. <laughs> okay, Boots. We're going to play this game in the spirit of fairness. So no whinging, no cheating, and make sure you stick to the rules. Is tripping someone up considered cheating? Yes. What about tying to the team's shoelaces together? Yes, of course it is. Oh, can we stop all this jibber-jabber and just start the match pretty, please? Okay, football, but before we start, what's the most important thing when playing a sport? Winning! <laughs> no, it's taking part and having fun. Now, let's start this match. And we're off! <laughs> Red Boot has the ball, and out of nowhere comes Blue Boot, who's about to score. He kicks it, and it's surely a goal. Oh, but Red stops it. What a save! Phew! Wait for me, please! And we're back! And Red is about to score! It must be! It just has to be! Oh, but out of nowhere, Blue saves it! This is a real end-to-end -end battle! Uh, it's a battle! End-to-end? Uh, -end. Uh, uh, guys! Uh, Guys! Uh, uh, uh. Henry, I'm not sure that they can go on much longer. They both look very, very tired. <sighs> I know how they feel. Oh, I give up. Oh, you were right, Blue Boot. You are the best. Oh, nonsense, Red Boot. You are by far the best. <sighs> No, I insist. You're the best. Maybe we can all agree. It's a draw. A draw? That means you're both the best. We are. Yeah. Yeah. calling me football. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine. And thanks for refereeing the match. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye Henry. Bye bye football. I'm coming mum. The day Shield. Good morrow, young squire. How are you today, Shield? I'm splendid, Henry. I've just had my daily polish. What do you think? Oh, yes, very shiny. Shield? Yes, Henry? What is it you do exactly? Well, Henry, 
Brave knights use shields such as I to protect themselves on adventures. Wow, that sounds exciting, Shield. Have you been on any adventures today? Oh, I haven't been on an adventure in hundreds of years, Henry. These days I spend my time in the castle looking after our old rust bucket here. What? Is that the king? All hail to the king! <laughs> Hello there, suit of armour. It's not the king. It's just me, Henry. King Henry, it's an honour to meet you, Your Majesty. You'll have to excuse my friend, Henry. He just hasn't been the same since the incident. The incident? We were parted from our favourite sword during a battle with a ferocious dragon. He's never gotten over it. Oh, if only there was a brave knight around to help bring it back. That gives me a great idea, Shield. I could become a knight. <laughs> and I could help bring sword back. That's a great idea, Henry. Hello, Castle. Oh, hello, brave knight. You know where we could find the ferocious dragon? Dragon? Did you say dragon? Where? Yikes! Shh. Castle. Hello, Castle. What shall we do now? Castle looked really frightened. A brave knight never gives up, Henry. They never let anything stop them in their tracks. Tracks? That's it, Shield. Over there. They look like dragon tracks on the ground. And they're leading into the forest. Well, what are we waiting for, Henry? Let's go! Hello, pack of wolves. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry! Hello, Swan. Hello, Henry. Hello, scary tree. Hello, Henry. Looks like the tracks stop here, Henry. This cave must be the lair of the ferocious dragon. Come on, Shield. Follow me. Look at all this treasure, Henry. Hopefully sword will be down here somewhere. Shield, is that sword over there? Sword, we're here to rescue you. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you both for finding me. I've been stuck in this rock for centuries. But be careful, I'm quite sharp. I finally have my best friend back. And there's no sign of any ferocious dragons. <laughs> That was a close one. Thank goodness there's no sign of that. Dragon! What? Dragon? Where? Yikes! Phew, I think we've lost them. Don't worry, everyone. We're safe and sound here inside the castle. Ah! <laughs> oh, what shall we do, Henry? <gasps> I've got an idea. <laughs> did it, Henry! You rescued Sword and scared off the ferocious dragon. You truly are a brave knight. Thanks, Shield. But I couldn't have done it without your help. That's my mum calling me, Shield. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for reuniting me with Sword. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Shield. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met! A parrot! <laughs> Hello, Parrot. Rag! Hello, Henry, my lad. How are you today, Parrot? I feel ship shape, Henry. I'm sat here in my perch, surrounded by all these paintings of the sea. Yarr! I've got the wind in me feathers. It's almost as good as being at sea on a pirate ship a hundred years ago. <laughs> is it true pirates can live for more than a hundred years? Rag! It is, Henry. In fact, today is my 101st birthday. Wow! Happy birthday, Parrot. 
You must have seen some amazing things in your life. I have, Henry. Follow me and I'll show you the most amazing thing of all. Yarr! My grandfather was a famous pirate's parrot, and he left me his most prized possession. Wow! What is it, parrot? Is it a wooden leg? Is it a Jolly Roger flag? Is it his favourite eye patch? Better than all those, Henry. It's a treasure map. It could lead us straight to unknown riches that have been hidden for hundreds of years. What kind of unknown riches, Parrot? Um, I don't know. They're unknown. Maybe if we follow the treasure map, we can find out. Yarr! But you'd need a pirate ship to find buried treasure, and that's why I haven't gone in search of it before. That gives me a great idea, Parrot. I could become a pirate, and we could set sail on my ship and find the treasure together. Ah, that's a great idea, Henry. All right, you salty sea dogs. This is Captain Henry speaking. Cast off the main plank, mop all the decks, and ready the rudder. It's time to set sail. Hmm, yar? Yar! We should probably check the treasure map now we've set sail. We don't want to bump into any giant, scary sea monsters. Good thinking, Parrot. Right then, which way to find the treasure? Well, as you can see, Captain, we are here. And we need to make our way along here, past the um, giant, scary sea monster, and straight on to the desert island. What was that you said, treasure map? You mumbled something. It kind of sounded like giant scary sea monster straight ahead. <laughs> Abandon ship! Uh, please don't eat us, giant scary sea monster. Oh, shiver me timbers, Henry! This is the worst birthday ever. A birthday? Did you just say birthday? Yes. It's Parrot's birthday today. Happy birthday, Parrot! Oh, I love birthdays. Now I feel terrible for scaring you in your special day. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, there is one thing. We'd really love to get to that desert island down there. Any chance of a lift? I can do better than that. Hop on! Woohoo! Thanks, giant scary sea monster. Anything for the birthday, boy. Ah, we made it, Henry. We made it to Treasure Island. And it looks like this is the spot, Parrot. Yeah, Come on, Henry. Let's get digging. Ah, what is it, Henry? Is it gold? Is it diamonds? Better than those, Parrot. It's a... Surprise! It's all stuff for a party. Ah, my grandfather loved a good party. <laughs> Happy birthday, Parrot. This is the best birthday ever! The day Henry met a pirate, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a pirate, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry. That's my mom calling me, Parrot. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my treasure. Yar, you're welcome, Parrot. Bye bye, Henry. <laughs> bye bye, Parrot. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a guitar. <laughs> Hello, guitar. Hey, hi. How you doing, kid? I'm good, guitar. How are you? I feel wonderful, Henry. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. That sounded brilliant, guitar. Thank you very much. You must have millions and millions of fans all over the world. Well, trouble is, Henry, Folk around these parts don't appreciate old instruments like us. They want to hear the cool modern instruments, uh, like keyboard and guitar over there. Oh, guten Tag, mein Fräulein. Oh, let's make party, yeah?
Well, I think you are all cool, and I'd love to see you playing in concerts. By the way, when is your next show? All right, uh, our next show. Well, you see, the thing is, Henry, uh, we haven't played a show in over 40 years. Oh. It's not that we don't want to, Henry. Yeah, we'd love to. It's just, well, we don't have a singer, you see. That gives me a great idea, guitar. I could become a singer, and I could join the band, and we could play a concert together. That's a great idea, Henry. And, uh, by the way, nice outfit, kid. Thank you very much. Uh, is this on? Whoops, sorry. Don't you fret, Henry. You go on now and introduce yourself. We're all right behind you, kid. You'll, You'll do, do great, great Henry. Henry. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> go on, kid. I hope everyone enjoys the show tonight. Sorry, coming through. Don't mind me. Just say what you feel, Henry. Just say what you feel. Mmm, let's rock and roll. Woohoo! Yeah! You're the best, Henry! All right, Henry. I think it's time to introduce the band. Hmm? Okay, guitar. Right behind me. Keeping everyone in time, it's a one and only fantastic drum. <laughs> and to my right, he's only got four strings, but he'll hit all the low notes. It's a boom bastic bass. <laughs> And last but not least, taking the lead is the six-stringed wonder, guitar. <laughs> Henry, I think it's your turn. Oh, right. Good luck, Henry. Now sing your little itty-bitty heart out, kid. Uh, guitar, I know I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but, um, I've never actually sung in front of anyone before. I'm a little bit nervous. Don't you worry about a thing, Henry. Everyone gets nervous. Shucks, uh, even I get nervous from time to time. Just try your best, Henry. Because music is all about having fun. Thanks, everyone. Okay, here goes. To guitar. He laughed along with everyone. The day we met a guitar, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mom calling me, guitar. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and uh, thanks for performing with us. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met a microscope. <laughs> hello, microscope. Ah, oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, microscope? I feel spectacular, Henry. I've just made a breakthrough. I think I've found. What have you just found? Your socks, your car keys, your marbles? I think I've just found the cure for smelly burps. Wow! That means no more smelly burps. Can I take a look and see what it actually looks like? Of course you can, Henry. It would be my pleasure. Scientists use microscopes like me to see things that are really, really tiny, like these molecules. Hello, Henry! Hello, molecules. <laughs> now, Henry, the contents of this Petri dish are very, very important. So, I'll just call my assistant to help us out. Well, did someone say they needed help? Uh-oh. 
skeleton. What have I told you about running in the lab? That was the only cure I had made up. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, maybe you can just make up a new batch microscope. I would if I could, Henry, but I didn't make it on my own. I had a scientist helping me. Oh, if only there was someone here to help me again. That gives me a great idea, Microscope. I could become a scientist and I could help you recreate that cure. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, the first rule of science is experiment, experiment, experiment. And if that doesn't work... Then you experiment some more. <laughs> okay, Microscope, now let's recreate that cure. Hello, blackboards. Hello, Henry. Hello, test tubes. Hello, Henry. Hello, flasks. Hello, Henry. I think this is it. I think we've done it. Well, well done, Henry. Henry. But how will we know if it works? Only one way to find out. <gasps> Stop, Henry. That's far too dangerous. You mustn't drink something if you don't know that it's safe. But if I don't do it, who will? What? Me? Really? Are you sure this is safe, Microscope? It's okay, Henry. He's made of plastic, aren't you, Skeleton? That's right. Don't worry about me, Henry, okay? Bottoms up. Is anything happening? I don't feel any different. What? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it seems there are a few unexpected side effects to the new formula, Henry. <laughs> Looks like it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> tried everything, Microscope. I think we should take a break, Henry. Skeleton looks pretty shaken up. <laughs> shaken up? That's it, Microscope. <laughs> Try this, Skeleton. <laughs> wow, that smells... It smells great. I can smell roses and lavender. I can smell fresh cut grass on a sunny day. Well done, everyone. We did it. We found the cure for smelly burps. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> calling me microscope i best be off it was really nice meeting you the pleasure was all mine henry and thanks for helping me you're welcome microscope and have a nice day bye bye henry bye bye microscope i'm coming mom the day Are you awake? Airplane. Airplane. Oh, you're going to have to be louder than that to wake this big sleepy head, Henry. Airplane, wake up! There's someone here to see you! Oh, um, um, airplane, ready for duty, sir. You can rely on me. Have a nice day, Henry. Hello, airplane. Oh, uh, hi, Henry. How are you today, airplane? I'm fine. Henry, I feel great. You look a little tired to me. Tired? Me? Not at all. I was just resting my... Huh? What was that? Where am I? Who said that? Oh, I fell asleep again, didn't I? I'm sorry to say it, Aeroplane, but yes, you fell asleep again. Oh, who am I kidding? I can hardly keep my eyes open. This week I've flown to Japan, Australia and Brazil, and then back again. Twice! I really need some sleep. Just close your eyes, airplane. There you go. I'm sure no one will wake you up. 
Airplane! Huh? What are you doing on that runway? There's a shipment of bongos that need delivering to the Congo. Now go, go, go! Oh, yes, sir. Right away, control tower, sir. Bongos to Congo. Got it. But airplane, you can't stay awake. You really shouldn't fly. I know, Henry, but all the pilots are in the karaoke lounge. There's no one around. Oh, if only there was a pilot on board to keep me awake and fly me safely to my destination. That gives me a great idea, airplane. I could become a pilot and I could fly you and keep you awake. That's a great idea, Henry. Ladies, gentlemen and bongos, this is Captain Henry speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. Good luck, Henry. Thanks, everyone. Well done, Henry. You're a... you're a natural at flying. Thanks, Airplane. But remember, you can't fall asleep. Let me think of a way to keep you awake. Oh, how about a game of I Spy? Oh, I love I Spy. Can I go first, please? Of course you can, Airplane. OK. I Spy with my little I, something beginning with G. Mm, is it gadgets? No. Gizmos? No. Gears? Glowing lights? Garden gnomes? No, no, and no. I give up, airplane. What is it? It's a great big storm cloud. It's a great big storm cloud! Keep your seatbelts fastened, everyone. Leave it to Captain Henry. Whee! Huh? Whee! <laughs> well done, Henry. Thanks, airplane. Yay! Hello, flock of birds. Hello, Henry. Hello, hot air balloon. Hello, Henry. Hello, helicopter. Hello, Henry. The airport is straight ahead, Henry. Prepare to land. Right you are, airplane. Landing wheels down. <laughs> OK, everyone, hold on. This could be a bumpy ride. Here we go. Keep it steady. Almost there. Touchdown! We made it, Henry. You are a great pilot. Thanks, airplane. And we even got here on time to make our bongo delivery. Yay! That's my mum calling me airplane. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for being my pilot. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a statue. <laughs> Hello, Statue. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Statue? Well, considering I've been stuck in this pose for 4,000 years, I'm feeling pretty sprightly. Ooh! <laughs> ah, much better. Statue, why does everything in here look so old? <laughs> That's because everything in this museum is old, Henry. Come along, I'll show you. This ancient Viking helmet dates back over a thousand years. Hello, Henry. These dinosaur bones are over 65 million years old. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. And how old is this rare ancient historical artifact? Is it 500 years old? 2 million years old? 10 bazillion years old? Oh, <laughs> that's not part of the museum display, Henry. That's just my old cassette player. He plays 80s music. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Sometimes, Henry, archaeologists spend years looking for treasure. And once in a lifetime, they find something that's as beautiful as it is old. Behold, 
the ancient blue diamond. Mm, statue, there's nothing there. What? There's nothing here. Oh no, the ancient blue diamond. Where's it gone? This is a catastrophe, Henry. Oh wait, <laughs> my mistake. It says here it actually hasn't been found yet. <laughs> Silly me. If only there was an archaeologist around to help find it and we could gaze upon its elegant beauty. That gives me a great idea, statue. I could become an archaeologist and I could help find the ancient blue diamond. That's a great idea, Henry. Now, which way should we go? Hmm, one way will probably lead us to certain doom and the other way will hopefully lead straight to the ancient blue diamond. This way or that way? Which will it be? I really think we should go this way. Why is that, statue? Because over that way, there is a great big boulder, and it's heading straight for us! Yikes! Run away! Hello, Sphinx. Hello, Henry. I'm very dizzy. Hello, Pyramids. Hello, Henry. Really starting to get dizzy now. Hello, Hieroglyphics. Hello, Henry. We have to hurry, Henry. The boulder is right behind us. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Oh. Ah! Whoa. Just got to catch my breath. You two are fast. Sorry if I scared you. I was coming to say hi, but you ran away and dropped your hat. Oh, you were just giving me my hat back. How nice. Thanks, Boulder. All that exercise did us good anyway. Boulder, do you know where the ancient blue diamond is? Oh, of course I do, Henry. It's right under your feet. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Boulder. Whoa! You're welcome. Whoa! Finally, Henry, behold the ancient blue diamond. Wow, statue, you were right. It truly is beautiful. Oh, I bet you say that to all the ancient blue diamonds. <laughs> well, now that we've found you, would you like to come back to the museum and meet some of my new friends? Oh, I'd love to, Henry. Yay! my mum calling me statue. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for finding me, Henry. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Clock. Oh, hello there, Henry. How are you today, Clock? I'm just splendid, thank you, Henry. My cogs are turning, my springs are springing, and my hands are going tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> mm, clock? Yes, Henry? What's that swingy thing in your tummy? Oh, <laughs> that swingy thing is my pendulum, Henry. A pendulum? What's that for, Clock? Why don't you see for yourself, Henry? Say hello, boys. Hello, hello Henry. <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm the pendulum, Henry. I swing backwards and forwards and keep the clock in time. Whee! Then the pendulum moves us cogs. And then we turn the hands, tick-tock, tick-tock. So people can tell the time by looking at my face. Well, but, um, what are you doing on the street? Well, Henry, I was supposed to be moving house today, but, um, there's been a problem. Oh, what's the matter, Clock? The delivery van has driven off without me. So now I'm stuck here on the street and my housewarming party starts at four o'clock. What time is it now, Clock? Tick-tock, tick-tock. It's just gone three. I was so looking forward to the party. 
Can't you just walk there? It's too far, Henry. I wouldn't make it in time. I'll just sit out here and hope another delivery van passes by. That gives me a great idea, Clock. I could become a delivery driver. And I could help deliver you to your new house in time for the party. That's a great idea, Henry. Oh, I can't wait to get to my new home and see all my friends again. What's the address, Clock? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's 21 TikTok Road. OK, Van, let's get going. Next stop, Clock's new house. Henry, before we drop Clock off, would you mind helping me to collect a few things on the way? Of course, Van. That sounds like fun. That's the spirit, Henry. But do remember, we must get to the party before the clock strikes four. Now, make sure your seatbelt is fastened and I'll take it from here. Here we go. Hello, piano. Hello, Henry. Hello, box of punting. Hello, Henry. Hello, disco ball. Hello, Henry. For you. That's the last of the collections on board. Is everyone OK back there? Oh, yes, Henry, it's uh, lovely and um, cosy. <laughs> Don't worry, we're almost there. How are we doing for time? It's almost four o'clock, Henry. We need to hurry. OK, next stop, Clock's new house. Here we are, Clock. We finally made it. Your new house. Oh, thank you so much, Henry. You're welcome, Clock. Now, let's quickly get you inside. Oh, it feels so good to be here. I just can't wait to see everyone. Looks like we made it just in time. Oh, uh, where is everyone? Surprise! Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. <laughs> what time is it now, Clock? It's party time! Today <laughs> 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 Henry met a clock He laughed along with everyone The day Henry met a clock He made lots of friends and had so much fun Henry! That's my mum calling me clock. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me get to my new house in time for the party. You're welcome, Clock. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Clock. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A light bulb. <laughs> Hello, lifeboat. Hello, Henry, my lovely. How are you today, lifeboat? Can't complain, Henry. That lovely warm sand beneath me and a beautiful blue ocean stretching out as far as the eye can see, drawing me in with her dulcet, watery tones. Lifeboat. Her waves gently lapping at the shore, beckoning me back into her salty embrace. <laughs> lifeboat. I can hear her soft voice dancing on the sea breeze whispering in my ear. Lifeboat, snap out of it. Henry wants to ask you a question. Oh, um, sorry. I was away with the mermaids there. <laughs> That's OK, lifeboat. I was just wondering, what makes you different from all the other boats? I rescue people who are lost at sea, Henry. So if someone gets into trouble, a lifeguard and I race out and bring them back to shore, safe and sound. Wow, that is so exciting, lifeboat. <laughs> Oi, come back here with my shell. <laughs> well, lifeboat, it looks like everyone is safe and sound. Help, help. I think you spoke too soon, Henry. Is everything okay, Dolphin? The tide is coming in and there's a donkey stranded out at sea, Henry. <laughs> uh, we need a lifeguard, quickly. Thunder and walruses, Henry. Dolphin's right. We need a lifeguard. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, lifeboat. I could become a lifeguard and I could help rescue Donkey. 
That's a great idea, Henry. Follow me. You'll be there in no time. Thanks, Dolphin. Hello, boy. Hello, Henry. Hello, Seagull. Hello, Henry. Ah. Hello, giant container ship. Oh, oh, hello, Henry. Donkey is just up ahead, Henry. Good luck. Thanks, Dolphin. Come on, lifeboat. Let's go. Uh, what was I thinking? Let's go sunbathing, I said. This will be the perfect spot, I said. Oh, I hope someone comes and rescues me. Hello, Donkey. We're here to rescue you. Oh, that's excellent news. Why have we stopped, lifeboat? Sorry, Henry, but this is as close as a big salty sea dog like myself can go. We wouldn't want to run aground now, would we? I guess it's up to me now. But, um, how will I reach Donkey from here? Well, they don't call me a lifesaver for nothing, you know. OK, don't worry, Donkey. We'll have you safe and sound in no time. Uh, thanks, Henry. I was afraid no one would come to rescue me. But now you're here and everything's going to be just fine. Uh, help! Hurry! Quick, Henry. OK, here goes, everyone. Wish me luck. Good luck, Henry. Yeah. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> now, Henry, all you need to do is pull Donkey in. I think I might have a better idea, lifeboat. You are right back there, Donkey. Couldn't be happier, Henry. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Right, lifeboat. Back to dry land, please. Aye, aye, skipper. Day and we met a lifeboat. She laughed along with everyone. Day and we met a lifeboat. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me lifeboat. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for saving the day. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a letter. <laughs> Hello, letter. Hi, Henry. How are you today, letter? To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous, Henry, but I'm really excited at the same time. Why is that letter? Oh, sure, letter has been posted today. We're very proud of her. Aren't we, Telephone? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, our little letter is going on her first trip into the big wide world. Mom, Dad, stop it. I'll be fine. Well, wow, travelling sounds so amazing. But it's really important you don't forget anything. Oh, Henry's right, Letter. What about the address? Do you have the address? If you don't have the address, you won't know where you're going. I have the address. It's right here, see? Oh, and you can't go anywhere without a stamp, you know. I have one around here somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, Stamp. Right, I think that's everything. You'd best be on your way, love. You don't want to miss the two o'clock post? The two o'clock post? But it's almost three. Oh, you've missed a post collection. What will you do now? Oh, if only there was a postman here to help. That gives me a great idea, Letter. I could become a postman and I could help deliver you myself. That's a great idea, Henry. Come rain or shine, I promise I'll deliver you on time. Woohoo! Hello, corner shop. Hello, Henry. Hello, bus stop. Hello, Henry. Hello, hedgehog. Hello, Henry. The sorting office is just up ahead, Henry. We'll be there in no time. Letter, what exactly is a sorting office? Follow me, Henry, and I'll show you. The 
This is where letters and parcels from all over the world end up. Guten Tag! Konnichiwa! Good day, mate. Hello, everyone. And then we all get sorted in the mailroom. Come on, Henry, jump in. Letter. Hello, post fan. Hello, Henry. Now don't forget to fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> Will do, post fan. Huh? Will do. <laughs> Thanks, post fan. Here we are, letter. Now, all I have to do is post you through the letterbox. Woof woof. Ah, a dog! Please don't slobber on us! What's the matter, Letter? Henry, everyone knows dogs and postmen don't get along. Don't get along? Nonsense! One of my best friends is a postman. I was just welcoming you into my lovely home. Thanks a lot, dog. Sorry. Not at all. Now, can I offer you a glass of cranberry juice with a splash of orange? I'm a fruity little number. Thanks for asking, dog, but I have a job to do. Well, Henry, that was some adventure. Travelling is always an adventure, especially when you have a good friend by your side. The day Henry met a letter, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a letter, he made lots of friends. That's my mum calling me letter. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, aren't you forgetting something, Henry? <laughs> of course. I still have to post you through the letter box. Thanks, Henry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, letter. I'm coming, mum.